Yes, everyone, it is that time, and On the Chopping Block is a movie that just came out. I literally just came from it. It's called The Priest. Now, when I saw the trailer for this, I looked at it going, this has potential. Uh, you know, the story of how religion's kind of taken over society as they've been in war with vampires for many years, okay? And there's a group of badass soldiers called The Priest who kicked some major vampire butt and helped win the war, okay? Well, now uh, we have one of these priests, uh, the group was disbanded, and we have one of the priests who's called up again to go try to rescue one of his relatives from vampires who supposedly didn't exist anymore, according to the church. Yes, uh, the priest can fall in best into the category of post-apocalyptic sci-fi drama horror vampire uh, comedy with one line in it, special effects action movie with a twist. The twist being... My God, where did they get this script from? If, if that's the twist, you're going to be questioning yourself. And it seems like they pieced it together from every other genre and every other great movie you've ever seen. I mean, there's touches of Blade Runner in here, 1984, Brazil, uh, the, your average Western, you know, Mad Max with the motorcycles in here. I mean, you got all these elements in there, and you only got 87 minutes of runtime. So any theme that comes across where you think is going to have potential, you're just getting into the theme, you're thinking, wow, they're going to go here, they go there, and then they leave. I mean, they come in, take a leak, and leave. They don't actually stay for a while. You know, they don't they don't let you develop anything. It's like, oh, here's our idea, now we're gone again. And maybe they're trying to shoot through the 87-minute runtime to get you to realize, you know, to, to get you to forget the fact that they've got a really bad script with dialogue that was stolen from, like, every other movie, just like the genres that they stole from, okay? Don't get me wrong, I love genre-mixing movies. I really do. I think they can be very interesting. They can be, if done Right, now what it should have keyed me off on the priest is the fact it's brought to you by the same guy who brought you the Legion, and where that looked potentially cool in the trailer, when you, we saw, well we know what I felt about that movie, folks the priest isn't much better, not a lot of improvement here, even with the guy who played McCoy from Star Trek in as the black hat, which I will say he had probably the coolest wardrobe out of anyone in the movie, and in fact he had some badass wardrobe from most of the villains that I've seen recently, okay, the black hat, the jacket, looked pretty badass, it's just too bad that his script wasn't, I mean, Brad Dourif's even in here, I love Brad Dourif, and there's one little scene with the black hat, that's how he's titled, and Brad in there, and it was really good, problem is, it's like 30 seconds long, okay, this movie not only was predictable, because I, I was predicting dialogue that was coming before it was there, because I had heard it before, why, because it's from other scripts, this movie had so much potential, it could have gone so far, and it kind of goes there and leaves, and goes here and leaves, and it is such an amalgamation, that's a big word, and that hurt, but it's such an amalgamation of pieces, it's like they couldn't make up their mind what identity they wanted to give the movie, and so the movie ends up having no identity. I mean, everything's cookie cutter and cliche, which will work if you're actually going somewhere with this, but there's no real development and even the the surprise twist or reveal during the movie isn't really a surprise you see that coming too and don't even get me started on the vampires i mean they were the most unoriginal just kind of they look like big rubber like you ever see baby mice they look like gigantic baby mice with two big fans fangs that's about it that's what they look like okay that's how a uh, uh, uninspired the vampires were in this. They weren't your Brad Pitt and, you know, uh, you know, Tom Cruise, oh, let's go chomp some people and turn them into vampires. No! They were big racers with fangs is what they were. Really unimaginative and, and that was disappointing to be sure. The priest gets one and a half stubs. One, because, well, you got special effects in there. Don't go see it in 3D. Dear God, don't waste your money for that. Spend it on the extra jujubes. Or better yet, go see the Fast Five or the Thor, okay? One and a half stubs for the priest. Just because, uh, you know, I liked the guy, the Black Hat's outfit. And, uh, you know, some of the effects were pretty cool. And that's about all I got to say about it. Really, just a disappointment to be sure. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stub.